Hey guys, this is Logic Crazy and I'm Johnson and welcome to yet another Java Chess Engine tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll just be going through a few extra ideas for uh, help that will help you in your debugging process as well as to announce that the code is fully bug free right now. Uh, so uh, when I run all my perfed tests, uh, if we look at our perfed data, I can uh, try out all these different depths with both positions and come up with all the correct number of nodes. Um, as well, I have also added a bunch of other different positions that you should try before you are fully certain that your uh, engine is performing correctly. Uh, these are some deeper moves. They take a little bit longer. They're all in the uh, millions of uh, results. So to take a few seconds, and then we have our uh, talk chess, talk chess, uh, perf tests, which I got from the talk chess site, and these should all be tested. And I, I can't tell you how many times I've tried four or five of these different positions, only to find an error on that uh, fifth or sixth position. So uh, do check them all, and they all uh, have a little bit of a a caption to tell you what exactly uh, they're looking at, which might give you a hint as to what the problem is if you all of a sudden find a problem. So uh, those should all be useful, and if you can pass all of those to the depths indicated and get the correct numbers for each one, then you can be 99.9% .9 sure that your engine will always come up with the correct moves, because it really goes through a ton of different uh, positions and some really unusual positions as well. Um, now, just for a few little uh, tips as you're debugging, uh, uh, one thing is that uh, sometimes, uh, not so much with this engine, but with methods, engines that use an undo method or a, an official undo method, ours sort of just uh, discards. Uh, the move, but uh, moves that have to, times where you have to undo the move that you've made, uh, what will sometimes happen is that when you zoom in on that move, so you uh, find an error and you start zooming in with the uh, perf root, you make the move, then you run it again, you find the new error, and you zoom in, and you'll all of a sudden get a different number of moves than uh, what you had previously. So your error will be inconsistent, so to speak. So you thought that 39 was wrong, but when you zoomed in, you found that it gave the, maybe the correct answer or maybe even a different answer altogether. And that's usually an indicator that your undo moves method is incorrect. Uh, another common error that this engine and others might face is that... Uh, right off the bat you get an imperfect number. So even from the starting position at a depth of two, you're already incorrect and you think, how could that possibly be? These are just basic moves and they all seem right. Well, maybe our move counter is incorrect. So our counter, for instance, uh, at a depth of two from the starting position might give 420 as the answer. And what that would probably mean is that it's counting all of the leaf nodes as well as all of the initial nodes, which adds that extra 20 to the count. So make sure that you have set that up correctly. Um, and then there are those errors that cause crashes. Uh, I ha rarely encounter these, but uh, what they could mean potentially is, for instance, uh, an illegal move was made that left the king in check, and then the king is captured. And then without the king, there might be some function that goes haywire and causes your engine to crash. So these are just some common little errors that you might find. Uh, and these are little tips that I found of generally what those errors imply. Um, and I do want to run this through one time and just talk a little bit about perfed speed. So if we start our position off, uh, we can leave it at this position here. And what do we have as a depth? We have a depth of 6. So if I were to run this here, 
and it quickly runs through and comes up with a number of uh, positions here, over a million nodes. And I've added a little bit of code in our user interface, which uh, just ca uh, keeps track of the time it took, and then also takes that time, converts it to seconds, and uh, takes the nodes and divides it by those seconds. And that uh, uh, results in the nodes per second. And basically, uh, some people might say that, uh, that the perfect speed is inaccurate, and to some degree it is, because your engine isn't really searching. It's not evaluating positions. It's just looking for moves and making them. And so what the speed of our perfed uh, algorithm does is it indicates how fast our engine can think of moves and make those moves. Um, and so the faster we can get this uh, algorithm to run and our methods to run, then the faster our search engine will run because it will take less time to make moves and think of all the possible moves. So that's really why we want our method to be as fast as possible. And we haven't really done any optimi optimization and stuff, and there might be some extra code, because as we debug, sometimes we add extra uh, checks or if statements to make uh, uh, the code clear and to make it correct, and sometimes we add extra things that don't really affect the number of nodes that come out, but slow our program down. So uh, those changes can always be made. So I hope that this has been uh, useful as you debug your engine, and feel free to download this code from the description below, and you should have a working uh, perfect uh, error-free uh, engine. Until next time, enjoy Java.